So, this video is inspired by cancer, it's inspired by the moon, and what I wanted to say, what I wanted to share was the connection between women and children and why they are um, like constantly under attack and why there's so much um, like abuse towards this these two groups of people and why there's so so much um why there's um like a need for like protection of these two um groups um first and foremost um women are as you know of a more spiritual um or more spiritually connected than men are because they're naturally you know of their heart chakra Whereas men um, tend to be like in their root and mostly in like their um, their solar plexus, which is um, the representation of the ego and the um, the ego. So with women being in their heart chakra, which is love, they up appeal to their heart. They um, they give wisdom to the world. They um, have intuition, which is the third eye, and they also have a um, connection with the cosmic, which is the um, seventh chakra, and it's uh, like the greater understanding of what you know life is and um, things beyond the material. It's like um, like immaterial. It's like it's beyond what the um, earth plane is, um, what we see on the earth plane. And just like um, the reason why they are under attack, under attack um, most of the time is because that energy is high energy. And just like moths to a flame, men are attracted to it because they, they mistake it as sexual energy, something that they have to um, be a part of or something that they have to... Um, have but they don't know necessarily know what it is that they're looking for they think it's something lower than it actually is it's not anything physical it's beyond the physical and a lot of people mis mistake it for something that that leap that um that is physical when it's really something beyond um something beyond what can be like described in normal in regular words and I want to say the reason that they seek it is because it's something inside of them that's calling to them. But as we grow older and our energy gets pushed down, we think it's it, we think it's sex. We think it's sexual or something that's lower than the spiritual because spiritual and sexual energy are opposites. So we think it's that because that's our highest understanding. If our energy is pushed down, like it's our highest understanding of what that energy is. So men who are usually in their root chakra and you know their sacral chakras um, and. That's where the, a lot of their energy rests or a lot of their energy lies. And it's there and they don't necessarily know um, what to do with it. So they they seek that because, especially if they find like women attractive, if they find women attractive then that's what, that's what they um, look to to, you know, put that energy into. But that energy is meant to do much more. It's not meant to be it's not meant to be used in that way. And I want to say um, a couple of other things. Like, I want to use, for example, the movie Lucy, where she basically was going up in consciousness. Like, she, she started out very low, like, you know, basically unaware. And, like, I believe she was, like, a, um, like a um, drug user. And once she started... Um, like going up in her consciousness, she became like limitless, and she, and that's basically what it is. Like her, uh, um, 
her consciousness rose up so fast that she couldn't she couldn't even she didn't even think about things um like normal people would she didn't think about you know wanting to procreate and she she found no reason for her to procreate because she seen what the world was and she seen that procreation was wasn't wasn't of her like on her on her level like it was i want to say i don't want to say it's um beneath her but in a way it kind of was because she was more spiritual than physical like her understanding was beyond that and that's 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 what um women technically are to technically are on this on this plane like they are beyond like the physical because a lot of times um you have women who can abstain from sex or they don't seek sex like men do and i'm not saying that women don't have a sexual appetite because I, I really can't speak on that because that's not my that's not my place I'm, and plus i'm not a woman but i will say that women have a greater understanding of that type of energy and that they know that that energy is not just that and even so even even if they even if they um don't have that understanding of what that energy is the energy that a man puts into a woman is life force energy is, is spiritual energy and that energy that he releases from his body goes into her and she gets more life and light out of it because the energy that comes out of him is light and that's what um the um that's what the energy is it's like um if you if you look at it on the magnifying glass you'll see that it's like light surrounding the like the head of the um the sperm and then it's like you know it moves and whatever you know you know basically how that that goes but that's what it is like they 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 take light from you by doing that and i'm not saying that it is what it is like whatever you do you do what you do but it's not it's not something that you should do with everyone it's not something that you should do carelessly it's not something that you should do if you want to go higher because it's it's beyond just it's beyond this physical like i want to say we're in a time now but we've been in a time for years where this was not something that we should be doing like period <laughs> and i'm not trying to be, i'm not trying to be funny but like sex is not something that we should have been doing ever at all like and this is how it ties into children because you have a lot of abuse towards children because of the same reason they're connected to their their mother mother still they they still have that spiritual energy and it's so strong on them that people are attracted to it, men and women because um you have people you have um both abusing children but not for reasons that they understand they think it's something sexual when it's not they're they're longing for something that they they're missing but they don't necessarily know what it is and that's what i was saying about like the men with the women like they they're longing for something but they don't necessarily know what it is they think it's for the feeling of sex or to create a child but it's, it's it was way more than that because you have to think about it like this the power that creates a child the thing that creates a child you have if you have the power to create a child imagine what you can do with that energy because a child is a human a human can do so many things if if one man can create one child imagine what that what that energy could do if it was used in another way think about it because something as simple as this like you literally create another physical being that can do literally anything that you can do or more. Think about that. That means your energy can be used to do things that you can't even imagine. You can create something that can think independent of you. It may have some similarities to you, but you can create something that has that can create that um, think independent of you. So if you can create something that thinks independent of you, think about what that energy can really do. And why would you give that energy away willy-nilly to anything? It's not meant for the physical pleasures that we use it for. People misuse that energy so much that 
I don't even think they realize that they, they're doing it for the wrong reason. But that, that's neither here nor there. And I'm not judging, again, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just because we've, 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 we've been brought into this world. And for some reason, I want to say, say this, but people will probably think I'm, I'm crazy for saying this, but I think this is a big trap. I think it's all a big trap. We're not meant to be here for the things that we are led to believe that we're meant to be here for. And I think that women or children, they can, they can see the other dimensions and things like that. And they know that it's more than what, we, what we're um, forced to believe, like as a collective, like the collective mind, like we all believe that we have to do certain things, we have to work, we have to have a house, we have to, um, you know, um, pay taxes and all that stuff. But it's not, it's not about this, it's way beyond that. Like life is way more than that. And I was gonna say, um, <laughs> because I, I kind of got like uh, thrown off for a second. Oh, um, just like, there's a lot of, uh, I was going to say, like, there's a lot of um, child trafficking, human trafficking. And the reason is, is it's, beyond, it's beyond sexual. Like, they take the, um, the organs that connect to the spiritual realm, and they feast off of those. It, it's, it sounds weird, but imagine, like, how you eat whatever you eat for the feeling that you get. You get that, you may get that temporary high, but the people who are doing these child trafficking and human trafficking things do the same things but they do it they do it for different purposes they do they do it um off of the human organs that give them this type of um highs that they they want to experience or they need to experience to to um see those different dimensions and they do it um in a um I want to say in a um secondary way because they don't take the time to, you know, cultivate themselves, to work on themselves, to be able to see into those different, different realms. Because at the same time, I want to say, I don't want to say it's easy because it's not, it's not easy, but it's not difficult to, to just focus on yourself and to um, build up that understanding and to gradually get there because everybody wants a quick fix. Like, that's why you have so much like drug use and all these things like that. Just on a just on a regular level, like like regular people do drugs and whatever whatever because they want to um get some type of temporary high. But if you actually worked on yourself and you worked on the energy, you could get to those levels without even needing the um the secondary source. As I said in the previous video, but um they they use um and they use um both of those groups of people for the same reason. And the reason why they're, um, this is, this also ties into like the po the police as well. The reason why they, um, need protection is because they're at their throat chakra level, right? Just above the heart because the heart is like, um, it lets you know that you're connected to everything. It's like, um, well, it's love, but, um, there's a connection there as well, but I want to say that when you get to your throat level, it's like the spiritual realm where everything, where everything kind of like starts off almost. Technically, in like the spiritual realm, because it really starts in your heart, but it starts, it, it starts, it starts here. When I say, when, and the reason why I say it starts here is because everything comes through your throat. Like your connection to the divine comes comes um through your throat. Like anything that goes um down comes through your throat. Anything that comes up comes through your throat because it's your throat, nose, and your ears. They all three of these are connected. And since all three of these are connected and they have to go down, they have to go through this. This is a very important part of your body. But you have to um but most people don't realize that and you have to really um you have to really protect your neck because your neck is very important. You have to really um be working on um, building that relationship as far as like your breathing, as far as like what you take in and, and things like that. Like this is a very important part of your body.
like these this this and this is very important like but people don't people, people don't um people aren't taught taught that they're not even taught that these three things are connected like maybe over time that maybe over time you like you know get the connection that these three have to be like some way connected but people don't realize that these three things are connected and they've they've always been connected but and the reason why i say that um it ties into like the police because for one what is the color of the police blue and what do they do protect it may sound crazy it may sound like i'm i'm, I'm making it up but i'm gonna keep going like they also um do something very spiritual because for one they um they could take a life they don't i'm not gonna say they can give a life but people who but people who um people who do harm against other people they can take they have the choice to take a life or they have the choice to um give um I don't want to say provide some type of justice, but they, um, I don't want to say that. They represent justice in a way, or at one point they represented justice, because I, I don't want to speak on now, because I'm not, for one, following the times, and I don't necessarily um, have enough information on that to give, like, a good, solid opinion about it, but... I just need to hear no there. But I want to say that that's what they um, represent. They represent all those things, and it's color-coordinated. Everything is color-coordinated. It's no, it's no mistake. It's none of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, even the things that we say connected to these things are no mistake, but we don't realize it. Like, a lot of things that we say are, like, unconscious, and we don't, we don't necessarily know it, but these things are connected, and they mean something. Like, none of the stuff that we do is meaningless. Like, even, even, even the, um, the fact that we hear is, like, It has a purpose beyond what we've been taught. Like men have this, man has this religion that basically silences the woman. But and the <laughs> and the funny thing is, like the reason why they silence the woman is because man is inside the womb by himself. He may hear the voice of the woman and not necessarily know what the voice of the woman is, and being inside of her he thinks he is the king he thinks he is he's the one who's running it but he comes out into the world and he sees his mother so he spends life seeking her <laughs> seeking um something that um represents her and the love that she gave to him by giving birth to her <laughs> she gave to him by giving birth to him but um a lot of that is in darkness, so he thinks he is the light of the world, and he is the um, one that is, like, king, so he can tell anybody what to do. So, like, in the church or in the Christian church, I don't know if this is every church. I think it's, I think it's pretty um, um, uniform for, like, every religion that most, most of the time women don't have a voice in the church. And why is that? Because of basically something similar to what I just said. Like man believes that he runs it but runs the world but he doesn't he doesn't necessarily give her credit. And the the way that he views her is physical, but he doesn't see her spiritually. Like he doesn't he doesn't respect her spiritual voice enough to give her like room to speak, to um explain things that are beyond most of the time his conception. And then when they when they do see a woman that is beyond their um, understanding, like that's this is where you have like oracles. Like a lot of movies have like um, this this figure of women being like oracles, and they have to stay away from men because the men will be so attracted to them that they would um, like basically take advantage of them in some way, and then the women will lose their gift. What this represents is their spiritual energy, which is usually up here coming down to the lower regions and being used for the wrong reasons and it that they're no longer able to tap into that 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 um realm as easily as they were before because their focus is down here um 
and this is this is what happens with, with children as well. Their energy is taken down. This is why it's bad for um, people to really abuse ch children because they bring them they bring them from up here to down here, and a lot of times children spend their whole life stuck in this level, like traumatized, not knowing that they're going um, they're going in the same patterns over and over again because they don't they don't see the the um, the bigger picture, which is to raise that energy back up to forgive themselves to love themselves and how these things are important because they're not taught that but then again none of us are really taught that like we have to learn that on our own and in learning that we learn that the energy is meant to be raised higher and to to be used in other ways but it's, it's very important for um us to do so and That's how. That's what I. That's what I want to say about them being spiritually connected to the children. I mean, women being spiritually connected to the children, and about um. And it's so it's so interesting, like um the breathing pattern that they give them to um to um like give birth, like the breathing patterns that they um use. It just shows you how much the breath is connected to the spiritual realm and how. The, what's spiritual becomes physical at some point because they use these breathing patterns basically to push out something physical into the world. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> but it, it makes a lot of sense. Like there's so much, there's so much information. There's so much stuff that um, we don't necessarily look at as something spiritual or something um, interesting that really is like all of it, all of it. And it's all great. It's all great stuff once you really get into it and you get beyond like what you see in the physical world. Like the physical world is great, but once you once you see that it's it's bigger than that. Once you see it as the concepts, and the concepts start to make more sense than than they did when you were taught um, from what you were taught in school. Like we taught certain concepts in school, but we're not really taught that um, these concepts are more. Um, tangible than um they appear like a lot of the concepts that we learn in school are right at our fingertips in fact they're under our skin most of the times so like <laughs> and the reason why i say they're under our skin like this is how the most of the concepts are how we um govern ourselves how we are inside of ourselves but we have to come to the realization that these things exist inside of us as well as outside of us there is no such thing as something going on outside nothing going on inside something going on inside something is going on outside as well and it also and it um reflects what's going on inside um <laughs> and the same thing about same thing about it being as above so below none of this stuff is like a mistake none of it is like just funny language like it's stuff that you really will come to understand once you um look at them once you are on your spiritual path and you like are stuck are committed and you stay on it and you start cleansing and you do all these things but all these things are natural are natural and they'll naturally start happening for you once you do like one thing like yes it, it starts with one small step like to be on a spiritual path you have to stay focused you have to stay you have to be um <laughs> you have to um you have to stay on it but once you start getting that light once those lights start coming around you like It'll start attracting other light, and all the um, light that um, attracts to you, it'll start connecting, and all those, all those um, um, light, <laughs> all that light that connects will um, start to make sense, make things make sense in ways that you never thought of before. Like everything is connected. Like all these, all the dots of light that are, exist around you will start to connect, and it'll start to, um, it'll start to be, to be like constellations. And this is the, this is where you can see like where astrology is all connected. And the astrology that um, exists outside in the cosmos is, is, is the same thing that exists on, I mean, inside of you and, it's, and, and, on, <laughs> and on the planet as well. Like, it reflects, um, it reflects everything that's on the planet. Like, everything that's on the earth is reflected in the heavens. They used to do this intentionally, like, in Egypt. Like, the, um, the pyramids are connected to the belt of Orion and stuff like that and, and things like that. But it's not the only... Um, um, monument stone monument that um reflects the heavens like 
there's countless monuments that reflect the heavens and they connect to the heavens and it's like a um connection of earth to the cosmos there's it's no mistake it's, it's it's reasons why they did that beyond our conception but once you get once you get on this path it's like something that you would see and you would start to love it <laughs> i'm sorry i'm kind of i'm kind of loving the um flow right now but um yeah it's just me um in my element um i love my earth element i love my um ether element my um my space element my um the light that i'm getting i'm really appreciating and that's why i'm able to flow like water and i got so much um <laughs> i got so much air coming through me like it's it's, it's really um being cleansed through my heart and i love it um <laughs> but um i'm really um i'm gonna end this um because i'm gonna, i'm probably gonna end up going for another um 30 minutes but everything is connected and you have to just really like sit back and appreciate it you have to um first of all say i love you and <laughs> and in saying that i love you notice that um you are a reflection of me which is a reflection of you and the reflection of you is everything that you see in the world everything that you see in the cosmos and don't ever look at yourself and say that you're not great because you are. You are spectacular. You are magnificent. You are you are beautiful. You are powerful beyond measure. You are limitless. Look at the sky. That's you. You are limitless. And don't let anybody ever convince you that you're not. You are so so intelligent and intelligence is infinite and you are infinite and infinity never ends that's why i can make connections to everything everything literally everything that you see i can make a connection to i, I can figure it out and, and make it make sense for you nothing is separate from you everything is connected and It's so much that you can you can learn from yourself. You don't need books. You need yourself. You need a connection with yourself. You will find books. Books may come to you. Don't get me wrong. Books may come to you. But don't go looking for the books. The books will come to you like... You will get synchronicities. You will, you will get things that just resonate with you and you, you probably won't even know why. You'll figure out why, but you probably won't know why until, you know, later or until you open that book or, or you, um, you, you, you look at that movie or you go, you go down this corner or, or you, you, you eat this fruit. Whatever it is, whatever the whatever it is, you will you will get whatever it is, whatever is meant for you. Everything that is meant for you will come to you. And anything that's not meant to you will, will go away. But you have to believe in yourself first. Believing in yourself is important. It's paramount to everything. Everything. And don't put anybody above you. Don't put anybody ahead of you. And I'm not saying that you can't like people. I'm saying put yourself first. Put self-love first. And when I say, and when, what I mean by putting self-love first, that don't mean, that doesn't mean that you can't love anybody else. But you have to love yourself first. You have to respect yourself first. Don't, don't, just like, I'm, I'm going to end it after this. Just like, you could show that you love yourself if if something happens to you, like you you fall, you trip up, and then somebody's around. If you laugh at it, a part of you is hurt, and you don't you don't acknowledge that. But that's gonna stay with you longer than you realize. Don't ever laugh at yourself when somebody when you hurt yourself and somebody's around just because you're embarrassed and you don't want to, want them to see that you're hurt. You have to love yourself enough to admit. I hurt myself, I made a mistake, and it's not funny. That's self-love. 
that shows that you care about yourself when when you don't care who's around and you you're willing to be vulnerable enough to admit that you hurt yourself because at the end of the day it's about a connection with yourself never never trade that for the satisfaction of somebody else because the satisfaction of somebody else is temporary and and, and people are so temporary in this world that if they if they're not meant for you why would you why would you hold on to their opinion of you longer than your opinion of yourself love yourself yourself is who you are meant to love before anybody else and i have to I, I'm, I'm i don't apologize for getting serious a little bit because i really am feeling that i, I felt that like like here And I hope that you can feel that. But I will say that I love you. And I hope that this message reaches you um, in kind. <laughs> like, I hope that, um, I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't, um, like, make you feel like, <laughs> you, 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 don't worry, you, you get it. Anyway, um, but, um. I love you and I hope that you have a good evening.